Hey folks, uh, time for another update on the reloading press. I'm uh, now 500 rounds in on uh, reloads, and uh, as you can see, I finally have my the uh, the bullet feeder mounted, and uh, ran into some interesting functions, I guess you could call them, on the bullet feeder. Um, Apparently, this uh, the Lee bullet feeder uh, is very well known for having a uh, an irritating behavior. I guess you could call it. I don't know if you could call it a a flaw. It's just a shortcoming of the materials, not the design. The materials. I'm going to uh, bring the camera down in a little bit closer here. So. Uh, first thing, right off the bat, uh, that I noticed when I finally got around to getting this thing fully assembled and installed and whatnot, is the slide mechanism right here that grabs the bullet and feeds it out under the under the seating die uh, is plastic on plastic. Okay, not too bad uh, considering the way the slide is made. The problem comes from the screw up here on top. Uh, if it's properly tightened down so that the slide doesn't wobble or, or pop out of the track, um, it's the edge of the screw starts biting into the frame. And that can be a problem because as you use it over time, it's going to start wearing uh, a gouge in there and it's going to start binding. Uh, so what I did was I actually took a, uh, a piece of plastic off of a, uh, a blister pack uh, for some super glue and uh, just cut a little square and turned it into a washer. I think what I'm going to do uh, at a later date um, when this whole uh, uh, community issue is resolved, uh, I'm going to take this piece of plastic off and replace it with a mylar washer. Um, that should do perfect. Uh, that way, you you know, the, the sliding friction from plastic on plastic is not bad. It's just the metal on plastic that you need to, to worry about. So that was the first step. And I'll tell you, just that alone made makes the action move a lot smoother. Um, the second thing, uh, when getting the bullet feeder lined up on the press itself, um, the... Bra the metal bracket that mounts this thing right here uh, comes in here and mounts under the under the seating die. There's a lip on it uh, that comes all the way out to here. So now you can get a better, uh, a little bit more close-up view. And you can see that mounting bracket, how it sits right there. Um, now they tell you when you in go to install this in the instructions, that the actuator arm right here, let me uh, grab something a little bit more visible, the actuator arm right here uh, that connects down to the carriage, down, um, they tell you to get that as straight as possible. You can't do that on this press. Um, just doesn't work. The reason why is because if you adjust the bullet feeder angle out to straighten up this arm, um, this bracket now binds into the spline uh, nut on the fourth die. So it just, it doesn't work. Um, the best thing that I have found, uh, especially because of how this actuator arm works, when you go to install it, um, make it offset just a little bit so that when you tighten it up, it straightens out perpendicular from the side of the press. And that's the best place I've found to put it. Um, otherwise, the, the little feed fingers down here will on the feeder will get munched up. And I've already munched mine um, pretty significantly. Uh, thankfully, I can get a replacement from Lee for very little hassle. Uh, so that was the second thing on the feeder. Um, the third one is probably one of the most important, uh, and that is the infamous bullet drop. 
right down there. Okay, there we go. Well, sort of, the arm's in the way. The I apologize for the actuator arm being in the way. Um, so the Lee bullet feeder has an infamous problem that is a bullet drop. Um, basically, when you hit uh, copper-covered bullets, uh, not just jacketed, but copper-plated as well, um, the feeder down here likes to drop them. And this is a shortcoming of the material. The plastic that they use to, to mold these is incredibly slick, very smooth. There's no texturing, there's no grip, and that's the issue. So um, because of the way the actuator arm operates on here, this thing, uh, let's see here, is very jerky uh, when it slams in and out. Let's see if I can get it to autofocus. There we go. Uh, so the actuator fingers here are very jerky and they pull in and out. And what happens is when it hits a, a the, the extent of the travel, it tends to vibrate and cause the copper to slide right out. Um, similar thing happens with the base plate down here that holds the next one in line. And so what happens is that's a machined metal piece and it's very, very flat and very, very smooth. Um, so what happens, oh, let's see if I can get this thing to focus again, is that when the feed fingers grabs a bullet and pops out, the next one falls down and it lands on that base plate and it kind of bounces because there's nothing there to prevent it from moving. Uh, and depending on the bullet profile, when the next bullet in line falls down and hits it, uh, it bounces around, you know, causes a little bit of a shock to it and then it starts pushing the bullet out. Uh, round nose I found are even worse because when you're stacking round objects, they want to move. They don't want to stay in line. So what happens is the next one online pushes this one out and it just starts spitting out. And then, you know, if you're lucky, it's only one bullet, maybe two. Now, uh, I have found that hollow base bullets and lead bullets don't do that as much. The reason why is because the lead is kind of sticky to itself uh, from the, the shock. But anything that's copper is going to spit it out like a fountain. Uh, and I've actually had this the, uh, the feed tube loaded up. Um, I think I had 20, 25 rounds in there. Dropped the last one in, and it caused enough of a shock all the way down the tube that it popped this round out, and it drained the whole tube uh, onto the floor. Now, I have found a solution for that. And again, the problem comes back to the plastic not having any grip. And there's a few ways that, that you can solve this. And I've tried uh, three of them at least. Um, the last one was the one that was successful and I was expecting to be successful. I just didn't want to go that route. So. The problem is adding grip to the plastic. Uh, unfortunately, the only way I have found that to, um, to work is actually through sandpaper. Uh, you know, and I can hear a lot of people complaining, you know, you don't want to use sandpaper because you're going to mar up the bullet surface and, and this, that, and the other. Well, the trick that I found was to use 1,500 grit finishing paper. Uh, you could probably go down to 1,000 grit wet dry, but I would stay 12, 15, 1,800, you know, 2,000 is probably getting about to the texture of paper. But it's just enough friction that the bullets don't bounce and they don't drop. Uh, let me grab my little Allen wrench finger here. 
as you can see, I can tap on this, and that bullet's not falling. Um, now what I did, now what I did that I can't get the camera to focus on, is down in here, inside the cup that holds the bullet, let me pop that bullet out, is, oh, let me grab a flat. Uh, here we go. Now what I did is I actually super glued very tiny strips of uh, 1500 grit sandpaper inside those fingers. And I did the same thing to the base of the feeder. I don't know if you can see that down there, the red color. You know, it just gave it enough of a paper thin surface down in there to give it some grip. But yeah, that was that was the solution for that, and it it turns out it works fairly well. Um, I know that has been a very long term uh, problem that has been plaguing the lead bullet feeder. Now there is one more modification uh, that I need to make to the bullet feeder, and that is. Uh, one that there's actually a number of other videos on YouTube for, and that is the stop fingers. You know, a lot of people have been gluing little stop fingers down here and a triangle on the head so that when you drop the carriage and the, the fingers retract, that they stop and don't interfere with the bullet behind them and, and drop a bullet. Well, it turns out that on this current version of the bullet feeder, the, the feed fingers here already have the, the little stop point on it, and there's a bracket that runs right here that you can just cut a strip of metal for and feed uh, a set of stop fingers up into it. Uh, I'm going to try cutting a couple of them out of uh, some 16 or some 18 gauge uh, sheet metal so they can get the right width. And they just stick down far enough so that, like I said, when the fingers pull back, they intersect those those stops and uh, don't cause it to drop a bullet. Um, I'm looking forward to that, actually. For as long as I had seen people making those homemade fixes, Lee actually started to incorporate them into the into the product, they just stopped with one crucial part, and that's that little uh, stop guard on there. So, uh, aside from that, the 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 little spring mod that I did on the powder dispenser is working absolutely wonderfully. Um, I have noticed some fluctuations in seating depth. Um, I think that's just me being a little overzealous some, or not uh, not putting enough force into it at some points. One other thing that I would like to bring up, and that is uh, on the powder die, uh, or on the, the powder measure, pardon me. Uh, the, the auto discs are very consistent, uh, I've found, or at least for the ball powder that I'm using, uh, Winchester 231. Um, I have found, though, that it is they are a little bit lacking. Um, the sizes on the discs jump um, by 0.03 cubic centimeters. And in the case of the loads that I am working with, going from 0.40 to 0.43, will literally take my powder measure from the bottom of the scale uh, in the reloading information to the max on the scale. 0.5 grain load. Uh, and that's a huge jump. And so I am going to be replacing the uh, stock auto disc with their little $10 adjustable measure. Uh, so it's one size fits all, and it's got a dial on the back that lets you fine tune it. Um, that is going to be a 
very heavy recommendation uh, for on my part. So, um, well, happy reloading, folks. Hope this pays off for you.